PRI 2019, Indianapolis. I'd give a shout out to my customer Paul from Paul's Carts. He builds the good stuff, people. Check him out. Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Carts here. I just finished up another cylinder head. I wanted to just get this one on video. I do offer this one on the website. Uh, on the site, it's a 42-34. This is a 43-34. We went with the Ferreira valve, 6 millimeter stem on this one. Uh, this head, actually, he even went with the welded intake tube. I can try to take these valves out and show you the ports and stuff. So, it actually has really nice porting the uh it's like a mirror in there and this one it's almost you know you get to a point where it becomes so shiny that you know you, you start getting crazy with the polishing and this intake is massive i mean it's massive um you know 43 millimeter valve you need a big port so uh we did the welded intake tube on this and uh, as you can see, um, we really got this thing dialed in nice. I'll show you down the port if I can get some light in there. So that's what it looks like down the port. Really nice cylinder head. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, 43. 34 Ferreira stainless with the six millimeter stem valves. Um, it's uh, gonna have the titanium Ferreira retainers and the uh, I think it's I think he purchased the retainers. I gotta check that, but he got um, the 80 pound springs um, and uh, the the 80 pound custom springs because these are really long valves this head will be capable of like you know five six hundred lift um with the 43 millimeter valve so that's that this is a big boy cylinder head and uh um and he got the uh red vitonite valve stem seals so i'm gonna still assemble this for him i just brought it in to um wash the cylinder head Get all the dirt and grime out of it from the uh, porting and polishing. And uh, then we'll go in and we'll do the mill. So I just had it in and I said, you know what, let me uh, just get a quick video of this. So this is a uh, GX390 style head. Um, but you can't put it on a GX390. Uh, that intake uh, valve is so big it would hit the side of the board on a GX390. Um, so, uh, you know, you got to have it on a 90 or a 92 millimeter bore, like a 440 or a 420, 440 or a 460, something like that. Um, so that way, uh, the valve doesn't come down and hit the edge of the bore. Um, but yeah, this is a big, big, this is pretty much as big as they go. I could probably get, uh, 44, 35 in this head or a 45 34 <clears throat> but that would be maxing it out um, right now the valve seats don't touch and I really like that aspect um, so this is uh, pretty much as big as you can go and then run it hard on gasoline if you wanted to but a head like this uh, really performs well on methanol with that raised compression ratio um, nice piece. It's got the uh, dual hurricane pattern, you know, of the of the the flow pattern. If you watched it with the smoke, so it's a really nice head. Um, that dual hurricane really helps to uh, to amplify that, um, 
you know, the, uh, the fifth cycle or that scavenging event that happens, um, you really take advantage of that with the, uh, the way the, uh, the, uh, the way the air flows in, it comes in this way and it's swirling that way. And the way the air goes out, it goes out on that side. So it's coming in, this is the high side. And then this is the high side going out on the two sides of the port. You have a high, bi, they're both biased ports. So you have a high side on a port and a low side. High side and a low side, if you, if you design the port correctly. A lot of people, um, you know, they could show me a picture and I could just, I'm, what I'm looking for is the bias if they've ported it correctly. And, uh, you know, they'll have the biases on the wrong sides, which, you know, it'll just try to reverse the swirl and just cause all kinds of problems in the head. You got to work with the head. So you got the high side on this side and the high side going out on that side. So it's coming in swirling this way. When this is, when the last of the exhaust gas is going out, the high side's on that side. So when this is drawing out with the most amount of vacuum this way, this valve starts to open because they're both open at the same time. And then it just really creates this cross um, supercharging event. So it's a really nice head. Just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I didn't really need to do that big lecture, but uh, if you guys need anything, uh, selling the heads, engine builds, Paul from Paul's Carts, check me out at paulscarts.com. Um, some of the stuff's on eBay. But, uh, or you could give me a text, shoot me a text, or give me a buzz on the phone, 781-492-7358. Until next time, guys. Have a nice day.